2020, we joined the rest of the world in celebrating International Nurses Day and Florence Nightingale's Bicentenary. The theme for this year's celebration is Nurses, a Voice to Lead, Nursing the World to Health. This theme is very appropriate as nurses are indeed nursing the world to health in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. They are risking their lives to deliver much needed care to those infected by the virus. It is also important to note that the year 2020 is also designated by the World Health Organization as the year of the nurse and midwife. And what a year it has turned out to be for nurses and midwives all over the world. Many have lost their lives in the line of duty as they deliver care to those who need it. Many face violence at the hands of the public, as is the case in Mexico, where the perception is that the coronavirus is being spread by healthcare workers. Yet, nurses continue to care for others while they themselves are hurting. It is well known that globally, nurses represent the largest single group of healthcare professionals in any country 
which makes them central to the delivery of healthcare services. They are also indispensable members of health teams and the vital role of nurses in supporting the health sector must be acknowledged. The COVID-19 pandemic is a global challenge that has serious implications for healthcare professionals in general and for nurses in particular due to the risk of exposure, extreme workloads and moral dilemmas. While the role that nurses play in the healthcare system are diverse in nature and their contributions to health are invaluable, the COVID-19 pandemic has really heightened their roles at the individual and community levels. Our nurses here in Grenada have demonstrated true leadership in the fight against the coronavirus on our shows and for this they must be commended. They have led multidisciplinary teams in conducting surveillance, screening, case identification, care and treatment, follow-up and contact tracing. They are unsung heroes in responding to the healthcare needs of the population. I am pleased to announce that to date, no healthcare worker in Grenada has contracted the virus. How do our nurses manage to provide such excellent care in this changing time and maintain the professional, emotional, legal and moral equilibrium and at the same time protecting self as well as their families and communities? How they do this is unimaginable. There is absolutely no doubt that COVID-19 with its uncertainties as far as the virus itself is concerned has the potential of contributing to untold stress among healthcare professionals, especially nurses. This stress may be associated with fear of being diagnosed with the virus while performing their duties. The situation may be exacerbated by limited resources and therefore the mental health and well-being of our nurses would require attention. Even more concerning is the potential for stigma and discrimination from the public and family members who may feel a sense of vulnerability to the infection as a result of being associated with nurses. The Ministry of Health would collaborate with the Ministry of Social Development and other individuals and agencies to provide psychological support to our nurses and other frontline staff as needed. As I mentioned earlier, the year 2020 is also designated by the World Health Organization as the Year of the Nurse and Midwife. On April 7, 2020, the first ever State of the World's Nursing Report was launched by the World Health Organization in collaboration with the International Council of Nurses and the Nursing Now Campaign Initiative. This report highlights the critical issues in nursing that need to be addressed locally as well as globally. Key among them is the call for more investment in the nursing profession. Investment in terms of education and training, investment in terms of retention strategies to stem migration, investment in terms of ensuring adequate nurse-patient ratios, investment in terms of attracting more males in the profession to create a more gender-sensitive gender nursing workforce for as it stands right now, nine of every ten nurses globally are women. The report also highlights, among other things, the fact that our region has a very young nursing workforce with only 30% of nurses being 55 years or older. In conclusion, I salute all nurses in the state of Grenada, whether you are in active practice or retired, for the contributions you are making or have made to the health of this nation. I take this opportunity to wish you a very happy International Nurses Day. I thank you. The proceeding was an address by Ms. Nesta Edwards, Chief Nursing Officer within the Ministry of Health, Social Security and International Business on the observance of International Nurses Day 2020.